Hey everyone, so tonight we're going to be making a hair bow using some templates for purchase from A&L Displays. Um, this is the set, here's the spikes, and here are the bow parts. Um, we're going to be using Fox Leather in two different prints. You can purchase these from CC's Ribbon and Things as well as A&L Display. You are going to need scissors, um, a Mark Be Gone pen or something to trace with. A needle and thread glue gun and a clip so these templates they come in um, different sizes so I'm you know you can make them smaller or bigger bows I want to do a big bow so I'm gonna take the biggest bottom spike and then I'm gonna layer this bow so I'm gonna take the last two biggest ones and all you have to do is Grab your fox leather. You want to make sure that the print is facing upright. You don't want to do it upside down because then you'll have upside down bow depending on what type of templates you're doing. So make sure it's um, upright. Flip it over. Put your template down and trace with your mark be gone. As you can tell, I've already did this um, for two of them just to save some time. I'll show you the middle one. So um, this one is just a solid pattern, so um, you really, I mean it doesn't really matter. So I'm just going to lay it flat down and I'm going to trace it out. just like that and now I'm just going to cut them out and um, people always ask the scissors that I use and these are the ginger brand um, I actually bought these at a yard sale and I've had them ever since so I can't um, give you um, the cost for it so I'm just cutting out where I traced This takes a little bit of time, but nothing too long. Um, once you get the hang of it, it goes by really, really fast. And I just hope I'm not doing this too fast for any of you. So I'm just going to set that to the side and then I'm going to cut my remaining ones over here, the spikes and then the top layer. So there's my spikes and I do keep my scraps and I'll show you why here in a little bit so I'm gonna go ahead and cut the last one out
And these scissors are really good for cutting that um, thick glitter vinyl as well. So now that I have all my pieces cut together, I'm just going to fold it in half. And when I fold it in half, I'm going to add glue right in here in the center and where that half is, that center is, I'm gonna glue down each side like that. So I'm going to do this for the pink um, second layer, folding it in half. I'm sorry, I'm casting a shadow. Hold it down a little bit. So now you'll have your first layer, your second layer, and your third layer, like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and add glue to this first layer, glue it onto the center of my second layer, and then I'll add glue to my second layer and then add it onto my spikes. Just like that and this cute little um, glue gun holder can be purchased from a and displays as well so I'm just gonna hold it down for a little bit And I'm going to go ahead and change a clip. Instead of using the smaller one, I'm going to use the bigger one. Um, just because I feel like it's um, better because it's a bigger bow. So what I'm going to do here is with a scrap piece of, fat, um, of the fox leather, I'm just going to cut a strip just like that. And I'm just going to line this part right here where you pinch it open. So I'm going to add glue right there. Hold it down. Add some glue right here. Hold that down. And then I'm just going to cut off the remaining. So now I'm going to add glue all alongside the flat back of my clip. I'm going to add my clip as thinner as I can. So make sure it's centered between the top and the bottom. So I'm just going to let that cool down for a little bit. And I'm going to get my strip ready that goes in the center. So I'm just going to measure, or you can actually um, get a template right here and measure out the width. So I'm going to mark it a little bit. And I'm just going to cut out uh, my center part. So now that that has cooled, this is where your needle and your thread come in handy. So um, if you have, let me go grab some pliers. 
You may need some to get through that glue. So this is what I'm going to be using. So I'm going to find the center. Push through. Find the center again. And push back through. And it does get hard because there is glue. So next what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up my clip. And I'm just going to wrap it around uh, my clip and my hair bow. This will um, ensure me that my um, bow parts are not going to fall apart and my clip's not going to come attached. Um, depending on the type of vinyl or the fox leather um, you get, sometimes glue does not hold up. So you have to be very careful. And at least sewing it will ensure that this bow's not going to come apart. If anything's going to come apart, it's going to be the center um this part that you add but not the whole bow itself so i'm going to clip the remaining of it and let me make sure i got it okay so preference only i always start from the top so i'm going to add glue alongside here i'm going to start at the top Hold it down, bring it between the clips, the clip, bring it around, and I'm just going to add a thin line of glue right there. Hold it down, bring it around, and I'm going to turn it upside down, and I'm going to add glue right here, and then a little bit inside the clip. Just hold it down, press it down as much as you can, clean up that excess glue. And then clip the remaining of that fox leather. Um, there's also, um, just like I said, just depending on the fox leather, um, some of them can be, um, when you cut, they can, I wouldn't say shed but sometimes like the fiber comes undone and if that's the issue with the fox leather that you're working with um, all you have to do is grab a lighter and don't hold it in one spot and I can't find my lighter to show you but just glide it around your edges look how cute that boat how cute this bow turned out um as far as the markings in the back um, I use this Mark Be Gone pen, and, on, and it can be purchased at Walmart. The blue side is Mark Be Gone, and you do have to grab a wipey or some type of washcloth to remove it. Or you can use the purple side, the disappearing ink. And um, I don't remember the time frame, um, but it will disappear on its own. So this bow right here measures... From spike end to spike, it is six inches wide by four and a half inches wide. Oops. So if y'all have any questions, feel free to comment below. And I'll leave the um, link to these templates and to the fox leather in the description below. So you can combine um, the, the, I would say the loops, um, just because with ribbons we call them loops. So with the bows you can um, do these two sizes together or these two sizes or like I did um, these two 
So it just depends. You can also make baby bows. These, this right here, the um, the very two first ones from each one would make a cute little bow on a nylon headband. So if y'all have any questions, feel free to um, comment below and I'll be happy to answer that for you. Thank you for watching.